I'm planting a range of leafy greens at the patch and now is the perfect time to get them in. The weather's still mild and the soil is still warm and I'll be harvesting leafy greens through the cooler months till the coldest weather sets in. Now I'm gonna start by making my extra special topsoil mix. Don't worry if you don't get all the ingredients or all the quantities. There'll be a fact sheet on our website. I'm gonna start off with half a barrel load of compost. Next up, I'm gonna put about a bucket load of this absolutely beautiful, well-rotted mixed animal manure on the bed. I'm just gonna spread it around the bed by hand. Then a couple of handfuls of good old blood and bone. And four handfuls of pelletized manure. And finally, a few handfuls of sulfate of potash. And then just mix it all together and this will keep the seedlings happy and healthy and producing loads of lush foliage. Silver beet comes in many colours, from yellows, orange, red and pink and they all taste good. Now they're a big plant and need a spacing of about 50 centimetres gap. A rake head is about 50 centimetres, so this is the perfect tool for the job. By the way, as I'm planting, I'm adding some worm castings to each hole. This stuff is plant superfood. It holds moisture around the root zone and it means that nutrients are available to the plant. Lettuce also comes in a rainbow of colours. I've got two varieties here. I've got the black seeded Simpson with its ruffled lime leaves. I'll be harvesting on this one for quite a while. The other one is the flashy trout's back. The leaves are supposed to look like the back of a trout with a mottled burgundy and black. Now they're smaller plants, so I use about a rake's head between the rows and half a rake's head between each plant. Here's something a bit different. It's called red rib chicory. It's a bit bitter in flavour, but it goes great in a masculine salad mix. And they're so pretty that I actually use them in ornamental flower displays. Plant the chicory to the same spacing as the lettuce. Here's an interesting leafy green. It's called Chinese chrysanthemum. It's got edible flowers as well as edible leaves that are great in stir fries. I grew this last year as a bit of an experiment and I was not only impressed with the flavour but also the look of the plant. It grows into a smaller shrub and it flowers its head off throughout the season and it'll be suited to the end of this bed where it's got enough space to spread and do its thing. I'm finishing off just by watering these seedlings in but I tend to wait for a couple of weeks till the plants have settled in before I give them that good feed. So what are you waiting for? Get out there, plant some leafy greens. You'll be harvesting leaves within weeks. Happy gardening, and I'll see you next time.